Hi, everybody. Dan Oman, Mike Beer, the DRF race of the day for Thursday, September the 17th, race number eight at Canterbury Park. Let's throw up the field for the Shakopee Juvenile Stakes. We're going three quarters of a mile, two-year-olds. You can download free Formulator Pass performances for this race on the Race of the Day event page, drf.com. Access them, tap along with us. Let's throw up the time form U.S. pace projector for this race, Mike. I wholeheartedly agree. I think the three, the Philly, heart full of soul, is going to show speed. And I think the six, West of Waverly, is going to sit in a fine spot to the outside. Yeah, I, I don't think I'll disagree with that uh, at all, Dan. I mean, these are very lightly raced horses, so I guess things could change, but um, I won't argue with it either. Fast pace expected. We'll see how that works out. I think the pace will be more fair to fast than truly fast. But these are two-year-olds after all, many of them precocious and a bit speed crazy, beginning with the number one strong rules, Louisiana-bred son of Wicked Strong. Let's go back to his career debut at Canterbury last month. And this horse looked good, Mike. I thought it was a real strong professional effort from start to finish. We see him drawing away from this field, and Big Buffy, who's in here, finished fourth. Right. Big Buffy um, is the horse that uh, Strong Rules was contesting the pace with early as well. He left that horse behind. Um, and, of course, Big Buffy did come back to win his next race and is back in this field. So we'll see what happens. I th thought this horse ran fine in his debut. Number two is Edge to Edge. This is a son of competitive edge. We know that the competitive edges are quick and precocious. This one seems to be no exception. A maiden winner in his second start. Took a step backwards, though, last time out in the Prairie Meadows Juvenile. Uh, big buyer regression down to a 31. Was he kind of exposed as a horse that's not ready for stakes competition? I mean, maybe. I, I, I just feel like that was probably a tougher field than this one. Um, so I'm not going to be too hard on him for that race. His effort, too, back when he broke his maiden, I think makes him a player in this race. The filly in here is the three, heart full of soul, your morning line favorite, a daughter of violence. These violences, they come out running very early, and heart full of soul was no exception. Let's watch her debut. Uh, she was able to get to the lead in here. It looked like she took the turn a little bit wide, but once she straightens out in the lane, she finishes it off, and this runner-up came back to win by 15 lengths with a 56 buyer speed figure. So I think heart full of speed's 51 buyer speed figure was certainly validated, and she could be the controlling speed. She could be, and she did win that race um, pretty easily, Dan. Um, I'm not going to you know, worry about her taking on Colts in this race. It feels like this is the kind of spot where she deserves the chance and probably fits pretty well. Um, you know, whether she goes favorite or not, I don't know. Um, whether I would bet her as the favorite, I probably wouldn't, but she makes some sense in this race. She's bred in Maryland. Big Buffy, the four is an Idaho bred. We saw Big Buffy finish behind strong rules, came right back to flatter strong rules. Let's watch Big Buffy's second lifetime start. And Big Buffy's got the front as they turn into the stretch. And he's going to hold pretty gamely down to the wire. Much improved second time out for this barn. This is a very productive female family. They've thrown lots of stakes horses. Yeah, I did uh, turn away um, a first-time starter in this race who took some money and went off at two to one, but he held that horse pretty easily to the, uh, put that horse away and then held on to the wire in there. That horse that he was contesting the pace with early, Dan, did not come back and flatter that effort in his next start as the favorite, but this horse did run pretty well and obviously took a pretty big step forward from when uh, strong rules handled them easily on debut. First time starter is up next. That's the five big in the city. There's some speed in this pedigree. Trap shot, the sire, 12% winners with two-year-old debut runners. The dam has fold two winners from three runners. The second dam won the Miss Preakness, a grade three sprinting on the dirt. So there is some sprint ability here. $20,000 yearling bought back for $18,000 in March. Just not really my cup of tea, a first time starter against uh, winners. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Dan. I mean, there there are some things to like about this horse, but I don't know if this is the kind of race um, where I want to take a first-time starter, although it does show some confidence from his connections. Flying the flag for the home state of Minnesota is the number six, Westa Waverly, uh, winner of his second lifetime start against stakes competition. Looks so good winning that day on the engine. And the buyer speed figures from the first two starts, 71 and 68. Those numbers would just trounce anything in here. What happened last time out? I think the logical way of looking at that race was he just didn't handle a wet track. There was just no speed from the start, and he just didn't seem interested on the turn and into the, into the stretch. That's that's what I thought. It seemed like the kind of horse who maybe just didn't like a wet track at all. Um, so we'll see if that's a valid excuse. If it's if it is a valid excuse, I just don't know how this field is going to beat him, Dan. His first two starts, they were both very good. And if he runs one of those, 
to me, he's just going to win. Obviously, if he's a very short price and you don't think the sloppy track is valid, then maybe you want to take a shot against him. I just feel like this horse um, is supposed to be the favorite in here. And if he's not, he seems like a great bet to me. Let's take a look at our top picks for our Thursday race of the day. You're going with West to Waverly. I'm going with Heart Full of Soul. It's going to be interesting to see how they bet this race. I agree with you. I think West to Waverly deserves to be the favorite off those impressive first two buyer speed figures, including the impressive victory second time out. Plus, he's probably going to get a very nice trip to the outside of Heart Full of Soul. I liked Heart Full of Soul's potential, and I like her win early pedigree, and I like the fact that the horse she beat came back to really flatter that race. I went 3-6. You went 6-2-3. Tell me a little bit about edge to edge. You want to give her a little bit of a mulligan for that last race. You think he's got a little drop in class here. I do think that that was just a better field, Dan. I think that he's back in the right kind of a spot here. I think he deserves another chance. And he earned a very competitive buyer speed figure. Two starts back, winning at Prairie Meadows. Mike's going 6 2 3 4. I'm going 3 6 4 1. It's the Shakopee Juvenile. It's your DRF race of the day for Thursday, September the 17th. Approximate post time, 7 35 Central. Good luck.